Hello and welcome to my new video. Today we're going to talk about another very pleasant topic. It is constipation and especially when you're pregnant. I used to have constipation all my life, especially when I follow the standard diet with all the meats, dairy and stuff like that, lots of flowery foods and so on. And when I got pregnant, it got even worse. So it, the beginning wasn't very pleasant and I had lots of pain and issues about going to the toilet. I even tried to avoid it because it was that painful. Uh, then I decided that I should start doing something about it because I can't keep having constipation and pains all nine months. So I tried different things. Uh, the biggest problem was that uh, I had my appetite down and I didn't really consume lots of foods. So, and the problem was that I couldn't consume cooked foods because it would make me constipated straight away. It didn't matter if there was like vegetables or something, that's just how my body reacted. So that's how my body reacted to foods when, when they were in the cooked form. And I mainly tried to eat raw, that's what I could eat, but the amounts weren't very big. So it wouldn't really help because at some point I've been constipated. I was con at some point I was constipated, but at the same time I wasn't consuming enough to improve my bowel movements. I tried to consume thing citrus fruits because I know that they do help with constipation. So I, I would consume, for example, I would consume some grapefruits, oranges, clementines. And I, I usually made juice from grapefruits and oranges, but I really consumed a lot of clementines. So I think it helped a little bit. And then I know that another fruit which helps me with the constipation is kiwi fruit, and I would eat lots of them. I would add them in my smoothies. I wouldn't add them in the juice because they're not that good for juicing. But I love them, just would eat them just like an apple. Or I would add them to my smoothies or fruit salads. So they would really make my bowels move. I would even say that they were more like a laxative. So that I really loved. I tried also to consume plenty or as much as I could, plenty of fresh and raw fruits and vegetables, especially with skin, because they have lots of fiber, which helps with the, my, to keep my digestion chin going, and it makes it a lot easier to meet the scary toilet. Then another thing I tried a few times is what my mom suggested. It is a caraway seed tea, and it takes time to make, it's, like, it's not like it takes lots of time to make it, but it's a little bit time consuming, you just can't take it just and eat it, and I like how it smells. So some caraway seeds, I would put the cold water, I put them in the cold water, it depends on as much you want and how strong you want it to have, and then I would just boil the water. They have to boil together because I've tried in my past just to add them in the boiled water, or like pour boiled water over, it wouldn't work. They need to cook a little bit to release their anything they have in. So that also helps with the digestion or they're a little bit laxative. So I would have it a few times, once in a while when I'm not too lazy. So caraway seed is one of the things I would try. Also other things I would add to my smoothies is flax seeds. So I would, I would either choose between the ground flax seeds or just flax seeds, not ground, in their natural state. And I would notice also that they help to keep my digestion moving, going. Uh, another thing, if you don't have flax seeds, that I think they are most common thing, or more common than chia seeds, that nowadays it's not that hard to find chia seeds. I would also add chia seeds to my smoothies, or just to my food. I would make a pudding or something like that, and I would really enjoy. 
So if you, for example, don't like the taste of a flax seed, you can definitely use chia seeds because at least I don't taste anything when I eat chia seeds. Flax seed has some taste. So yeah, that was that. Uh, then I also try to drink lots of fluids because they would keep the solids moving through my digesting tract and uh, yeah that would help me to keep it not to get too dry inside so anything would get stuck or too difficult to remove. I also know that the lukewarm water would help or for example with lemon um, uh, with oranges, some like citrus paint, so infused water. But I don't really, I, I can't really drink lukewarm water because I, I usually throw up from warm water, so I, I usually drink cold water. Yeah. So if you have like a acid reflux or something, reflux, reflux, how do you say that? I don't know. So because I do have it once in a while when I get too much of drinks of fluids in my body at once especially on an empty stomach I do throw up so I would avoid lukewarm water I would try to get some cold in a small amount but I do count juice in I do count like if I make myself a soup now or stuff like that everything counts as liquids then another thing which is very very important and not only to keep your digestive tract moving or bowel movements going is exercising so I would suggest to try to get at least 30 minutes a day go for a walk if you have a dog like this one you can take her for a walk you can try swimming if if you're not too tired you can try yoga that will definitely help so those things do help and Exercising, even if you don't have constipation problems, if your body works properly and everything, I would still strongly recommend ex recommend exercising because it is it will help with your child growth. It will make it easier and less painful because your body will be prepared. So here, yeah, these things I tried myself. I tried also to have some fruit juice. I'm sorry, I like disgusting. I couldn't, I couldn't drink, I can't drink, I still have some in the fridge because I bought it. But I couldn't make myself and it's disgusting. One thing I'm not happy about what's in the juice, besides the prune juice. The other thing, the taste is horrible. Even though it probably helps. But no good, I would rather buy some plums and eat it instead of drinking juice. And now when I don't have appetite problems, I try to eat as much greens as possible so I get fiber in my body that also keeps my digestive tract moving. And yeah. Oh, and another thing I tried is aloe vera jelly or jello because we have an aloe vera plant. So I tried to scrub up some jelly, jelly out of the leaves. It's extremely bitter. I think the one recipe or just suggestion I found said that I should uh, use like two tablespoons of that jelly and it would like work as a laxative. I think I scraped one because our leaves are quite thin. So I scraped about one teaspoon and I had it and next morning I threw up. It was extremely disgusting but that's when I started having my acid reflux. So I, I, I basically think that it's just an um, accident or coincidence. I don't really think that uh, aloe vera made me have acid reflux. But I don't think it really worked on me, but I tried it only once. And I didn't like it. It was, it was really disgusting to drink it. I, I would have that bitter taste for quite a while after I would uh, eat that jelly. And now... <sighs> I didn't like it. So the most important thing if you are able to eat is to eat lots of fruits, lots of vegetables and greens so you get lots of fiber in your body that keeps your bowel movement going. 
that's the most important thing I think and exercising as well and lots of fluids so these three things are essential because other things you just have to buy like some super foods yeah, chia seeds flax seeds and if you eating raw or vegan you normally have vegetables and fruits uh, greens in your home so it's not that difficult and yeah and of course try to find your own what helps because if those things help me it doesn't mean it will help everyone else because for example I try to avoid flower thing flowery things because it makes me constipated straight away even the same day I feel that that's it my stomach has stopped working my digestive system is not working and I feel very heavy and sleepy <laughs> so other thing I noticed in my life that milk makes me constipated dairy but again it works differently but for example my husband is not vegan and he eats a standard diet and he drinks he doesn't drink milk but when he eats some dairy products he it works for him, him as a laxative so yeah so you have to take into consideration that everyone is different and the things that worked on me might not work on you, but I do hope that you will find some of them that works and helps you with your constipation because I think that's one of the most annoying things when you are pregnant or just in general because who likes to have those problems? And the last but not the least thing is that I start, when I got pregnant, I started using um, hi, Squatty Potty just to help my bowels to clean up and to to remove all the things out so I, I don't really have the actual thing I, at the moment I'm just using a bucket I asked my brother to make one so I hope that he will make it so as I'm squatting but you can find it on Amazon I think or eBay or something like that you can get squatty potty that really helps me and I notice that at the moment I reach the stage where I can't not use it <laughs> So that really improved my toilet life, if I can say so. Yeah, I think that was it and good luck and I hope you're feeling much better now after you tried some of the things I suggested. So thank you for watching, remember to subscribe if you like it and like the video. See you next time, bye!